Doncic records just the fourth 30 point triple double in a season opener all time. He joins Giannis, second of two straight MVPs for the Greek Freak, and Oscar Robertson twice in the 60s. Luca ended the season tied for the third shortest odds to win his first league MVP. Feels like it's inevitable, just a question of when. Fantastic to be back with my main guy, Tim Legler, to talk NBA. And maybe some Halloween because he loves it. Now let's <laughs> let's right. focus on the NBA. Yeah. We'll get to Wembenyama in a minute. Look, everything about this night was about him. But let's start at the end because Dallas is a team with a couple stars. It came together last year and it just didn't work. But the end game with Luca and Kyrie doing what they did is exactly what you're hoping to see. Is that is that like a script that's sustainable and followable? What you saw? This is going to be their playbook. They're going to score a ton of points. They're mm -hmm. not going to guard very well, and they're going to hope that these two sensational players can be spectacular at the end of the game, mm -hmm. which they were tonight. And that's really what Dallas is going to be all year. It's amazing that a team that has two players like that, you know, is not because of who we're going to talk about here shortly is not really in the mix when you start talking about a team you could really see going all the way. But you're going to see a whole lot of this. And these two guys in close games with a lot of points on the board and then them hoping that they've got the best two closers on the floor and they did tonight. Hey, and look, lively, it's one game. You're not going to yeah. turn this into like rookie of the year talk, but they, they didn't have a guy like that no. doing the stuff he was doing for them. It was eye-opening tonight for right? all of us. Like, hey. like every other minute it felt like he was doing something. You were like, wow, did you see that? We got a bunch of Duke fans on our staff, yeah. and that, that wasn't the guy they saw a ton last year in Durham, but it was great in San Antonio from lively. All right, Wembenyama. Foul trouble impacts his ability to impact the game. But in the moments that we saw what we saw, what would you say? Yeah, it just it's so unique because of his length and his ability to get that comfortable in tight spaces to shoot the ball, you know, over NBA caliber defenders. You saw a number of those in this game, but but really, here's what's going to happen with, with Wembanyama, and, and people need to understand, Greg Popovich is going to go out of his way to deflect any sort of scrutiny coming his direction by making him a focal point. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's probably their third or fourth option at best most trips and that's what you saw in this game he spent a lot of time sort of drifting around trying to find pockets they ran nothing designed for him mm -hmm. that will come as time you know allows and he's got to get obviously stronger to be able to hold his position you saw a couple times he tried to post up and got pushed out of there that's going to happen with his frame right now but the one thing that's undeniable is his ability to get into his shot off the bounce from any distance, no matter who's inside of his jersey. It's special, but you don't want to see Victor Wembanyama live at the three-point line. Maybe he will be here early in the year until he starts to get more comfortable and he's going to get calls in the paint, that mm -hmm. he can hold his position better in the post, that they run more design stuff for him. You're not going to see that probably here early in the year, but the defensive impact's there. And then that, that beautiful ability to get into his pull-up jump shot over just about anybody mm -hmm. is special right now. Pops Pop, and you mentioned they've got like a couple of guys, and Vassell, maybe Johnson, and, and different nice different guys. Right. They haven't been good. They, there was a reason. You get, you get this guy. Yeah. What's your sense of what they can be big picture? Not asking him to be everything yet. What, are they are – they, a 500 type team that would seem pretty optimistic can't to me. see that right now yeah. no maybe you're looking more like a 30 win team mm -hmm. this year young exciting fun you're going to really enjoy watching them not just because of Wembenyama. look like they got a bunch of guys that are kind of believing they're going to have fun here growing together because mm -hmm. they've got such a young core okay and as he continues to put impose himself on the game you'll see more success the second half of the season i, I put them somewhere 30 35 wins at max this sure. year, and then, you know, you add to that each year within a few years, hopefully you're relevant in the West.